Right, hi guys. Um, this is my second video about the uh, eCore Python S3. Uh, it's the one in the middle. This is just uh, for size comparison. We've got an Asus uh, TF101 uh, Transform Android tablet docking station, 10.1-inch. Uh, We've got the uh, eCore. Uh, hi. We've got the eCore uh, Python S3, which is 11.6-inch, and I've got an Asus uh, Vivo Tab. Uh, Windows 8 laptop. Um, it's just for size comparison, really. Uh, this one, this one's not mine. It's uh, it's a friend's. So let's get rid of those and uh, we'll get on to the. It's on the iPhone, so it's my professional filming girlfriend is out of town at the moment. Right, so there we go. It's the uh, uh, the how can I say that summary is it's rubbish. Don't buy it. Um, but let's go into it a little bit more. So we've had a little look around. We've got the keyboard and docking station. Um, build quality is fantastic. I have to say uh, uh, it's fine. Uh, we like it. We've got, uh, well, I'm sure you've seen the ports and everything. HDMI works well. Uh, SIM card. I haven't stuck a SIM card in it yet. Um, these are... There's a lock screen and a, and a, a volume rocker in the uh, thing. Uh, on the keyboard, we've got the uh, LAN ports. Anyway, I'm sure you've seen photos. I, mean, I don't need to go into that. It's got the Windows button on the side. Um, goes into the. There we go. It's clicked in. Let's see if we can turn it on. Um, well, we'll turn it on first, and I'll just explain. So on the left-hand side, you've got the power button. It goes into a Grub bootloader. If any of you know about. Uh, there we go, got the screen up. If any of you know about it. First I'm going to boot it into Windows. So this is a Grub bootloader. Okay, it gives you the options. And if you use the volume rocker on the side, you can actually select which options you're going to do. I'm going to go to Windows 8 first off because it's the easiest. So it boots into Windows 8 fairly quickly. Right, that's my touch screen. Get it in. Uh, let me just it brings up the uh, keyboard, which is annoying because let's face it, I've got the normal keyboard. And let me just put my uh, password in back in one sec. Okay, there we go. So it boots into Windows 8. Now uh, it's, it's fine to be honest. Uh, one thing I will say about this computer is it's fast. Um, Oh, there I go. Uh, I can't complain about that. Um, let's see the weather. It's fast. Uh, it boots into everything. I mean, Windows 8 is rubbish, as you probably know, but I thought I'd try it anyway. Um, I like this uh, the closing of the apps. I, I do like the touch screen. Um, I sort of like the fact that you can drag apps to the side. Uh, keep them there. As you can see, I live in Malta. Um, yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's it's a nice bit of kit. The only thing I would say, of course, is Windows Windows 8 is rubbish. I'm getting loads of emails there. Um, the trouble is, I've I've got it set on. Oh, there we go. Trillion, as you can see. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, it's it's fast. Um, I'm on the Wi-Fi, of course. Let's have a look, see what it boots up into. Hopefully, nothing dodgy. Okay, preferences are invalid. Uh, let's see. Uh, disclaimer: I work for this site. Um, very bloody slow. There we go. Now I've got it on a massive font just because the screen's so tiny, so I can't really see uh, too much. And uh, we'll do F11 for full screen. It's not bad, I have to say, although uh, the touch, you know, touch screens, uh, to be honest, it just doesn't respond in the way that I think it's going to half the time. Um, speed, yeah, it's fast. 
I like this close the app. Oh, no, I didn't. I sent it somewhere else. Okay, it's some online uh, online casino. But you see, yeah, it's, I don't know, the touch just doesn't go very well. And one thing I'm not uh, crazy about is uh, what I seem to find is it's just. Right, so I've got it. It goes fine like that. And yeah, it's working today. It doesn't always work, which is uh, fine if we do it in tablet mode. Um, yeah, eBay. Who knows about eBay? Amazon. Blah blah blah. But you see what what's going on there? No, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, uh, it's fast. It's fast. If you like Windows Eight, maybe, maybe I don't know. Um, it'll, I haven't really been able to use it for anything resembling productivity yet. Um, and annoyingly as well. Uh, uh, I don't know if um, yeah it's uh, it works it works for the moment with the uh, with the keyboard sometimes it doesn't uh, I just haven't got my head around Windows 8 um, I don't know anyway let's uh, let's get rid of Windows 8 and we'll boot into something else no, I just did that that's the easiest way of doing it I suppose it down now. This I'm going to boot into Ubuntu uh, if it feels like it. Hold down the power button. Ah, maybe I just hibernated it before. Okay, right. So got the boot screen. I'm going to use the selector. Actually, uh, now you see. I don't know if you can see there. Right there we go advanced options. Anyway, it boots into Ubuntu uh, straight off, that's the default, so I didn't have to select it. Now, uh, when I first got it, I stood looking at this screen uh, for some time, because it just did nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It started uh, that boot and didn't get anywhere. Now, when I press the, uh, it's the lock screen on the side, it gives you the actual code that's going through uh, at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but it tells me that... Uh, it failed to mount something, um, and uh, somewhere in there it says press S to continue without mounting. Well, it did on the other one, uh, so it didn't mount the Windows 8 volume. Don't know why that is, but if you're stood uh, looking at the at the Ubuntu loading screen, that's how to uh, how to get in. See, it was pretty quick to boot into Ubuntu. Let's put the password in. Okay. Alright, there we go. It's a typical Ubuntu screen. Goes into Raring Ringtail. Um, it's a pretty quick boot up. Uh, I don't know what's. You know, one of the things you have to remember is uh, I've changed the language on this. It came in Italian. It took me some time to figure out how to change it to English. Uh, and annoyingly, uh, this is not really very uh, very touch screen friendly I have to say um, there we go full screen startpage.com does not track you like Google does um, but I'm just not sure about the touch screen with Ubuntu it doesn't really seem to work very well uh, but it boots into it and what I tend to find is uh, Sometimes the, the stuff just, okay, I'm touching, I'm touching, what's supposed to happen here? Nothing's happening. All right, I'll go to the mouse. I just get nothing on it. I don't know whether I'm just using it wrongly or, or what's going on. But uh, it's certainly not intuitive. Uh, problem detected. See, I don't know what that problem is. Um, there's not much here. You've got an apps drawer there. Uh, what's going on? Do you see what I mean? It's not. It's not very intuitive. You know, I'd like to swipe in and see my apps. Um, I don't know what I've done. Unbelievable. I just want to. Now you see. Now I've got to use this. 
it's just not configured uh, for the internet very well, shall we say. Um, I don't know, where's the store? Um, see how quick it is to boot into that. It's just uh, not intuitive, would be uh, my guess. Now, um, I'm loving the keyboard. And uh, I don't know, it's just. Okay, and it's quick, it is quick. $32, dollars will not mind that. But uh, it's just Windows key gives you. Oh, don't know what's going on there. See, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. Maybe, I, maybe it just requires me to spend some time with it. And uh, but anyway, I'm not impressed. Uh, I mean, I use Ubuntu on my other computers, and uh, you know, I just want to. Why is it not working? That's the trouble. So, I don't know. There we go, that powered off then, and we'll just power off. And we'll try, uh, try Android on this. Power's on and off, it's fast. Um, as regards usefulness, to be honest, uh, Windows 8, uh, Sucks. Uh, Windows. I use Windows Seven at work, and uh, to be honest, I wish I had Windows Seven on this. It makes it more usable. There we go. We're into the boot screen again. Let's see if I can actually focus on the options while I'm choosing them now. Um, there we go. Let's see if that works. There we go. I'm just going to go down, selecting, and I'm going to select this is Android. Now, what tends to happen is it takes two. Uh, Let's see if it boots into Android this time. Oh no, it's going straight into Android. There we go, because sometimes it takes two attempts. Don't know why. Um, uh, but I wasn't impressed with the Android uh, on this either. Compared to the Asus Transformer, um, it's just not... Uh, I don't know, sometimes the, the rotation doesn't... Look at that. I mean, why has it done that? It's just not... Uh, I'm not very impressed now it's gone back, okay. Uh, and I haven't got much on this because I haven't really uh, played with it at all. Now why has it done that? I mean I've got the keyboard in. It's just uh, very, very strange. And is it because I've got auto rotation? Rotation locked, okay. So let's unlock the rotation. Uh, let's go back home. No, you see? I don't know what's going on. And that's just because, after all, it's a tablet. We don't need a don't need a keyboard with Android. Let's see if I can do it without actually. There we go. So lights are terrible, of course. So uh, okay, so it's fast. Uh, have we got anything on there? Amazon. Let's try Amazon. Yeah, fast, super fast. Like it. That's one thing I did say about it, it is fast. But, where's my, uh, where's my screen rotation? I must be just doing it wrong. Um, don't know. But anyway, um, so, yeah, it boots into it. I don't, I don't know what all these things are. I think I've got a ADW or something installed, which seems to have installed a lot of crap. Um, uh, where's the browser? There we go, it's got a funny icon. Um, yeah, it's pretty uh, It's pretty fast. Let's go to... You see, where's the keyboard? Now I've tapped... For a start, it didn't rotate. Now, when I've tapped in a text thing, because I had the keyboard attached when I booted up, it's not giving me the option of the... Uh, of the keyboard. Um, what I have found is... If I go into the settings, you can't even see anything on this iPhone, it's rubbish. If I go into the settings, language and input, and just choose the default, and let's say I've got physical keyboard, and I have to actually turn off the physical keyboard, I found. And then, uh, so where am I here, and let's go back to the browser, and now, there we go. Now I get the keyboard up. 
Although, maybe there's something in the settings for auto-rotate because uh, it sucks. So, uh, so again, that's my... Uh, I work for these people. Um, okay, don't know what's going on. You see, I'm supposed to play that in tablet mode. Uh, in landscape mode, sorry. And uh, it's just... It sucks. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't normally happen, don't get excited. Um, so, yeah, what's, uh, let's try it in Gadget, that's a techie one. Right. Now, as you see, fast. Can't argue with that. It's uh, pretty fast. Um, I've got a 64 gigabyte version. I have got um, eight megabytes of RAM in this one. Don't know how much Android can use, but uh, pretty, uh, 